Hey guys, my name is Adam Shaw. I'm the founder of At Dad's Table. Um, and today I'm going to do a cook along and show you how to make some delicious, gently spiced uh, courgette, pea and feta fritters with a uh, turmeric dipping yogurt. But absolutely gorgeous, um, only takes about 20 minutes to do. Um, and let's get to it. Um, we'll have a little chat as we go and I'll tell you a little bit about kind of my winning journey and, and my experience and so on. Um, but first of all, big thank you to Winning Week for inviting me to come back again um, this year. Uh, you can find all about me on Instagram um, under at dad's table. Um, and let me just tell you about some of the ingredients that we've got here. So for the um, spiced courgette, pea and feta fritters, um, I've got two courgettes, which uh, I'm about to grate up. Um, I've got about 100 grams of defrosted peas. You know, um, measurements don't really matter too much. Um, I've got a couple of garlic cloves, I've got a couple of spring onions, um, I've got a pot of Greek yoghurt, um, I've got 100 grams of flour and a teaspoon of baking powder, uh, I've got two eggs, I have got a pack of feta, and spice-wise I have got uh, ground coriander, cumin, and turmeric. So some nice, gentle, easy spices to introduce to baby. So first thing I am going to do uh, before we get to it is I'm going to grate the courgettes, uh, which is a lovely fun thing to do um, if you've got older kids too and you want to do something with them. Uh, that that's a really nice way of getting them involved. Um, so let's do that first. So um, I'm a dad of two. Uh, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Um, my one-year-old was born just before lockdown, so he's pretty much a lockdown baby. Um, and he um, he's about 14 months now. So we started weaning him when he was kind of about five or six months. Um, and the same with my um, my firstborn. Um, I'm a I'm a trained chef by um, by profession. Um, I studied at Leeds um, about four or five years ago. I uh, never really wanted to work in a restaurant, um, but studying at Leeds kind of coincided with um, my wife getting pregnant for the first time. Um, and when she was pregnant, you know, I was really looking forward to cooking some really fun, adventurous, healthy meals for her. Um, but I was quite disappointed at um, the advice out there. So I started creating my own um, pregnancy friendly dishes for her, um, trimester by trimester. Started posting them on Instagram. Uh, and it's kind of gone from there, really. Um, so that's that's a little bit about me. Um, what I've done, I've grated uh, two courgettes uh, in a box grater. So I'm just going to, uh, it gets pretty messy, this dish. Um, put them in a bowl. Uh, what I am going to do first is just go over to the sink and squeeze out some of the juice, or some of the water, really, because um, courgettes are full of water. Um, and the less water in it, the better he's going to cook. So there we go, that's all done. Tea towel. Yes, so, um, so I started off doing um, pregnancy food, uh, and then obviously when my kids were born, I progressed onto weaning um, and finger food, um, and that's kind of my story. So, courgettes, going to add in about 100 grams of oh, defrosted peas, uh, and then we're just going to dice up uh, some spring onion and some garlic. Um, and one of the reasons I, I really like this dish, you know, I'm a big fan of um, creating finger food, um, that the way that uh, my kids um, kind of learned to eat really, um, was a combination of uh, giving them purees of um, the food that, that mum and dad are eating, um, but then also making um, finger food for them uh, and kind of teaching them kind of baby led weaning approach. Um, so they've all grown up, you know, having lots of different finger foods, lots of different tastes to experiment with. Um, and when you are making finger food, you know, um, obviously un un unless, you know, there are allergies to consider and um, intolerances and, and so on, but there's no reason why baby um, really can't be having the same sorts of tastes uh, and flavors that you are. Um, so this is a really nice dish to start uh, introducing different flavours and different spices. Um, I made this for my little one um, when he was weaning and he just absolutely loved it. Actually, I'm going to grate this. Uh, just for time, I'm going to grate the garlic, but chopping is fine. 
Um, yeah, and spice-wise, so we're using uh, turmeric, um, coriander, and cumin. Um, one of the, there it is. Um, which are easy spices, um, so this is suitable from around seven or eight months. Um, you don't want to do it kind of as, as soon as um, you've just started weaning at, at six months or a little bit earlier. You know, you, you want to make sure that you're doing those first first flavours and first tastes, so a bit of green vegetables um, and so on. And then once you've kind of done all, your, all of your allergy testing uh, and you know the baby is, is okay, uh, it's time to start playing around and, and experimenting with lots of different flavours and, and that's the part I love most. So, um, main parts are in here, we've got uh, peas, we've got garlic, we've got spring onion, we've got courgettes. Uh, I'm going to add um, pretty much about a teaspoon each um, of cumin, turmeric and coriander. Again, you know, um, measurements really don't matter with this. Uh, it's a really, really nice easy dish. So there's that, and then when it comes to binding, Let's crack in two eggs. Now we're about to get really, really messy and um, mix this up with our hands, which I think is the most fun part. Um, and then I'm also going to add, uh, excuse me, prune to this lemon. I was using the lemon peel for something yesterday, um, but I'm going to squeeze in um, probably about half a lemon. Obviously, watch any pips. Um, that's done. So let's just. Mix this all up, and I'll show it up to the camera in a second. But what you'll get is obviously this gorgeous flavour, this this gorgeous colour um, from the turmeric, um, just turns everything this really nice kind of yellowy, golden colour. So that's it. It's very very watery at the moment. Um, so what we're going to do is add um, some flour. Um, that I'm just going to sieve over, um, which will obviously help it bind a bit when we start frying them and then just before um, I start cooking uh, I'll crumble some feta in um, obviously you know if you don't want to use feta um, any cheese works and if you don't want to use any cheese uh, then don't um, so let's just mix that flour in and it's getting a lot stickier now which means that it's really going to hold when we start cooking it. Oh, it smells so good. Um, you know, as, as I said, but all of my kids are, well, not all, I've only got two, um, both my kids grew up, um, you know, being exposed to gentle spices and so on from a really, really early age, and I just think it's a really important thing. Um, I'm going to bring this over just to show you. So that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, it's quite sticky now, which is great for frying. I'm just going to wash my hands. There we go. Um, and before I add the feta, uh, I'm using this, so I'm just going to turn this on uh, and start heating it up. Because um, other times I've done this and it takes ages to warm up. Um, I'm using a little bit of vegetable oil. Um, any oil you use is absolutely fine. And let's finally, um, just before we start cooking it, I'm just going to crumble um, some feta in. Um, probably about a third of this pack, probably about 50, 60 grams or so. Um, and again, that's different flavours, it's different tastes um, that you're exposing them to, uh, which I think is just all wonderful. So that is all mixed in. Let's give it a final mix uh, and we're ready to start cooking. So this batch will probably be about 18 to 20 discs. Um, this it doesn't freeze amazingly well, so it's definitely something that you want to kind of cook and then eat in the next couple of days. Um, but trust me, <laughs> I, always, I always eat about uh, six as I'm going once I make these. Um, and then my young ones pretty much inhale these, so you, you won't be hanging around with these. So, as you can see, I've made just kind of about the palm of my hand. Um, I think that's the best way of doing it. And I'm just going to put it in the pan and it'll start cooking. And whilst that's cooking, 
we can get on with making our turmeric yogurt and I'm gonna need to clean my hands once again and then we'll talk about my um, my top weaning tips as well in case you're interested so we've got that always get rid of tea towels um, I'm just going to get a bowl some kitchen paper which we'll come up with later and turn the heat up on this um, so uh, my, my, my top weaning tips, you know, I'm, as I say, I'm a, I'm a trained chef. Um, so I think with, uh, with my first one, I probably came at it from, um, probably put a bit too much pressure on all of us um, and really wanted to expose him to lots of different flavors and tastes. And I spend, you know, hours making beautiful meatballs and watch him as he just kind of dropped them on the floor. Um, and that just stressed me out and it stressed my wife out and it stressed my, my boy out. Um, so I think second time round, um, we found it <laughs> a lot easier um, because you know, you, you obviously you're crazy with a two year old and, and, and a baby and, and both of you working in a global pandemic and so on. So we were just kind of giving my, my um, youngest mashed up food that we were having um, and then experimenting with lots of different finger foods like this. Um, and we found that approach uh, worked really well for us. Obviously, you know, you take the time and, and you, um, you accept that you're going to get completely messy and you're going to get covered in food and baby's going to get covered in food and don't clean up. Um, whilst baby is eating because you don't want to give that perception that making a mess is wrong. Um, and just from, from baby's angle, you know, when, when a baby starts to eat, it's not because they're thinking, oh, um, you know, I need to eat to live or I'm going to try this or whatever. For them, it's just another opportunity to play. Um, and so you've got to have that sort of approach that this is something fun and this is something that you're going to enjoy and this is something that the whole family gets involved in. Um, and that just helps everyone relax. You know, if you do have, you know, an, an, an older brother or sister, try and get them involved, try and get them cooking, try and get them eating the same food so that baby learns from them. You know, it really is a, a big kind of um, family approach is what, is what I wanted to say. Um, so these are sizzling away. I think I'm actually just going to move, not too long, move that across because then you can see it a bit better. Um, just sizzling away. Um, probably about three, four minutes on the first side and then we'll flip them over and have a look and see how they are doing. Um, in terms of other um, finger foods that I'm a big fan of making, all of these recipes you can find uh, on my Instagram page at, at Dad's Table. Um, I love Rosties, you know, just grating up some um, potato, mixing with a bit of cheese and flour and some peas and spring onions. Um, frittatas um, are brilliant, you know, um, you're basically making an omelette but with added flour and then you put it in the oven uh, and it bakes for 10-15 minutes that's a great way of getting in some green vegetables um, different muffins and scones again you can really really cram pack full of um, different vegetables I, I find the best ones are you know peas courgette carrots um, spring onion asparagus uh, red pepper um, just, just really anything, um, anything that you want to eat, um, you know, baby's going to want to eat. Um, and then also, um, I'm a big fan of, of, of adding lots of grated vegetables to porridge as well. So every morning, um, I still do this actually for both my boys um, before they go off to nursery. Uh, so I know that they've had a really, really good um, breakfast. Um, grate a load of um, courgette or carrot and add that to the porridge as well as a mashed up banana. Um, some ground nuts, if you know they're not allergic to nuts, um, some almond or peanut butter. Um, you know, like, I think this stage of, of life when you're weaning, you know, food, food presentation and, and food, um, what's actually in it, doesn't really matter too much. So just, just go crazy, just add loads and loads of different flavours uh, and see where you go. You know, this is going to be fun for you and, and fun for baby. So I'm just going to turn those over. Now, taking on a really nice colour. Um, and as I said, this is um, a really nice way of exposing them to different um, spices. Uh, and another way you can do that is um, by just making a, a turmeric dipping yogurt. Uh, and this is literally nothing more than some yogurt oops, um, with some turmeric mixed into it, um, which it's just a really good way of getting, uh, again, exposing them to different flavours, 
uh, but also Tuma, which is so good for you. Um, so let's make sure I've got the right one. Um, just add in probably about a tablespoon and mix it round. Actually, let me do a bit more and then I'll come over to camera and just show you the beautiful colour it goes. Here we go. So it goes this gorgeous little yellowy colour. Um, and that's all you need, turmeric dipping yogurt. Uh, so let's make it look fancy and just put it in a nice little bowl. Perfect, that is there. Um, and I think these are pretty much done. Turn those off. So that was probably what about three, four minutes on one side, and then about two to three minutes on the other side. Uh, put them on some kitchen towel. Um, if uh, if I wasn't doing this for camera, I would then you know put the next ones on because um, we've got a lot to get through. Um, so that's that made three, um, and I would probably um, get about another 15, 16 um, out of there. So let me come around. Do, 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 do. Plate this up. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. So, check this out. Yum, 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 yum. So, there, that was in about 15 minutes. Um, some courgette, pea, and feta slightly spiced fritters um, with turmeric, cumin and coriander and a lovely turmeric dipping yogurt. Um, that's going to be my lunch. It's going to be uh, tea for my boys when they get home. You know, again, you know, make, make food that you want to eat and they want to eat it. You know, I'm not a fan of just making all this baby specific stuff because, you know, you just got to start making things, you know, for, for adults and for toddler or whatever. You just want to make one dish that everybody can eat. This is gorgeous. This is delicious. I'm happy eating it. I, if, if you weren't here, I'd probably eat about six as I was making it. Um, and the whole family will have it. And it's fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can find me at, at Dad's Table. Um, I specialise in really fun, healthy recipes for pregnancy, for weaning and for family food. Um, my debut cookbook is going to be published um, early in 2022. It's going to be called How to Grow Your Family, um, but more details of that are on my page. Um, thank you very much to Weaning Week again for inviting me back. Um, any questions, do get in touch via Instagram um, and enjoy your weaning journey. Good luck and most of all, enjoy it. It's fun. Thank you.